California. A land full of beautiful nature. The center of technological innovation and change. And the gateway to international commerce. However, such beautiful scenery and dazzling developments are losing their light due to air pollution. Wildfire smoke contains a mixture of thousands of compounds. Thick smoke is drifting hundreds of miles, making the air dangerous to breathe. How will California stop suffering from environmental damage? And ultimately, the, the threat of, of climate change is real, of course. 80% of the smog in California comes from tailpipe emissions. And in order to address that, we've got to transform the energy equation What is the real cause of air pollution in California? So Oakland is home to a very large port that ships vast volumes of goods serving not only Oakland, but the entire surrounding region. The Port of Oakland is an important generator of jobs and revenue, but it's also a generator of pollution because of the thousands of truck trips that go in and out of the port. Diesel trucks have a significant impact on our air quality. They uh, significantly degrade the air quality in communities that are adjacent to transportation corridors. So if you take the West Oakland community, for example, right up next to the Port of Oakland, right up next to the freeways, they have uh, diesel particulate concentrations in those communities that have a big impact on their public health. Uh, diesel trucks can contribute as much as over 40% of the diesel particulate that you experience in that community. So it's a, it's a real concern. Can we solve the air pollution problem, which seems to be indispensable to maintain California's local economy? So one of our goals at CARB is to really build the zero emission heavy duty sector, which poses a lot of challenges. You, you have to go long distances, you have to carry heavy freight, and you have to be, recognize the duty cycle so that those drivers can do what they need to do and stay on the road. And that's why looking for technologies that really can bring you all those things, can bring you long distances, can bring you um, the weight that you need to carry, um, so looking at fuel cell technologies and other technologies that will really meet the needs of those drivers and those companies that are doing this work and bringing goods to the people of California and across the country. California has launched the NorCal Zero project to commercialize fuel cell electric heavy duty trucks to reach zero carbon emissions while maintaining economic feasibility and efficiency. Through the NorCal Zero project, Exxian fuel cells, Hyundai Motors 30 fuel cell electric heavy duty trucks will replace high emission trucks entering and exiting Oakland and Oakland ports from 2023. For a successful launch of this eco-friendly project, California's environmental organizations have joined forces with top companies. This is the largest hydrogen electric truck related business introduced in the United States. Based on this funding, a consortium formed by the Center for Transportation and the Environment, CTE, and Hyundai Motor has established a hydrogen ecosystem ranging from hydrogen supply to vehicle supply, lease and financing, fleet operation, and follow-up management. Well, the NorCal project really epitomizes this uh, public-private collaboration in cutting-edge, cleaner technologies for the future. So we're partnering uh, in providing funding together with the Air Resources Board, Alameda County, and the Bay Area Air Quality Management District to fund this project. Uh, you know, we're really proud to be able to, to support this and to show you know, the rest of the United States and the world how we can use fuel cell trucks to deliver goods efficiently while zeroing out pollution. Reducing emissions, maintaining sustainable communities, improving public health are key policy goals 
of both Alameda CTC and BACMA, the Bay Area Air Quality Management, and of our communities. Hydrogen fuel cells technology are really going to be the opportunity we can to test new clean energy solutions for trucks traveling in our county. The Alameda CTC is very excited about the prospect of the NorCal Zero hydrogen fueling project that will come here to the Port of Oakland. With it, there will be 30 new drayage trucks that will use hydrogen fuel only. We will have a hydrogen high capacity fueling station right here in the Port of Oakland. And most important of all, residents of Alameda County, the City of Oakland, and the West Oakland neighborhood adjacent to the port will receive the benefits of high quality environmental improvement that will help end decades of environmental racism here in our own community. This will be the largest deployment of Class 8 fuel cell trucks in North America. Hyundai Motors' Exxion fuel cell began running on roads in Switzerland in 2020. And as of 2021, its cumulative mileage has surpassed 1 million miles. During this period, more than 1,013 tons of carbon dioxide avoidance was achieved across Switzerland. We can't help but wonder how far California's preparations for commercialization of fuel cell electric heavy-duty trucks have been carried out. How close are we to achieving the zero emission economy with hydrogen fuel? And today, hydrogen is about 2x the price of diesel without government subsidies or, or incentives. But as station construction costs decrease, as the supply chain matures, as production ramps up on a large scale to match the, the transportation demand, we foresee those costs coming down and we'll reach parity in just a few short years. Even the Department of Energy has projected a 4x reduction in the price of hydrogen as a part of their new Earthshot program by the end of the decade. Yeah, so we, we've began commercialization of um, high flow, high capacity uh, pumping stations about a year ago. But we think mid to late next year, we'll be able to reduce the, the, the filling time to 10 minutes, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so our plan today, today we have uh, 29 filling stations. Um, our plan is to reach 80 filling stations by 2024 for the light duty vehicles. But in terms of trucking, for trucking purposes, uh, the, the market is still new. And we're looking to uh, really build out throughout California, The essence of the hydrogen ecosystem by the NorCal Zero project is the Exxion fuel cell, which will actually be running on the road. That's why the user experience is critical information for the Exxion fuel cell. Operator comfort is critical to a successful deployment of these trucks. I like it, it's comfortable. The suspension is great. Uh, this retarder works great, it looks, works real good, in fact it's and like I was saying before, the DEF fluid is probably a big factor too. That gets old having to change that DEF fluid every month, refill it, watching your gauges, whether it's going down. Now that hydrogen energy and fuel cell electric heavy duty trucks are ready. Is the hydrogen ecosystem ready? And Hyundai has been a major partner with us in accessing uh, $29 million in grant funds to demonstrate to the entire industry zero emission capability with these large trucks. So what we're doing with Hyundai is to demonstrate that fuel cell zero emission trucks can replace these diesel trucks. And Hyundai has already established the first stage of that with the successful launch of trucks in Switzerland, in Europe. And we intend to build off of that success with this project here in California. Creating an ecosystem also means being responsible for everything from A to Z. 
providing solutions to constituents of the ecosystem. Excited that uh, Hyundai has decided to bring in the uh, zero emissions um, or the hydrogen fuel cell product. We're looking forward to learning uh, a lot about that new product and new technology, and then what we can do from a service and support uh, standpoint. What we need now is not short-term success, but sustainable development. Hyundai Motor plays a pivotal role in realizing this sustainable hydrogen ecosystem. I think it's, it's very important to have someone like Honda that has the experience of scale. And, you know, we see so many great uh, battery tr trucks or electric trucks right now that are from these smaller companies, and they're learning how to scale. Even Tesla's still learning in some regards how to scale their products. Honda has that background, has that ability, has the factories already in place, has the ability to make as many as we might need. And that's something that's very crucial to, as we try to move to zero emissions. Does the term hydrogen ecosystem still feel like it's from the future? It is becoming a reality in California. And our hope is that by 2045, and maybe even sooner, we would no longer have diesel uh, trucks, for example, that we would have zero emission trucks. So that's our goal, and of course that needs help, and that's why I'm really happy that this year in our budget, we really increased the support to help these projects like this and truck owners and others get these zero emission vehicles. It's old technology and it's, it's time for change and it's good to see you know, some of the major corporations and companies out there really taking initiative and investing in you know, not only hydrogen power but electric power and all other clean energy sources as well. Um, I think it's still necessary because it's what we know, but I do know there's better ways and with technology we've been shown that there's better ways um, to use energy, so I feel like um, it's time for us to move forward. We want the NorCal Zero project to not only be a successful project, but an exemplary case, a milestone that can be referenced by all eco-friendly projects in the future. Today, the entire world is facing many challenges in environment and energy, such as carbon neutrality, meaning we need a new solution different from the past. Hyundai Motor Company believes progress only becomes meaningful when it is connected with a deep sense of humanity. Hyundai's fuel cell trucks will hit the American rules to present a feasible way to a carbon neutrality goal, and that will become the standard of eco-friendly mobility. One Step Exient Fuel Cell takes to North America and is not just a market entry, but it will be the first step of a giant leap. Now all we have to do is join the road to a hydrogen ecosystem that Hyundai has paved. Instead of worrying about the future, enjoy the present. The future attained. <laughs>